so I'm kind of playing with my Nissan Leaf power wall here, which is a uh, seven kilowatt hour storage of power right here at the JW Solar USA. Welcome to my channel. So joining me again today, this is the pack I already created. This is the monster I already built, or this is the monster I already uh, put together. For those of you that knows me, or those of you who are just joining into the channel, you're once more welcome. If you haven't been a subscriber yet, please do, as we're going to be bringing you more content coming live from the channel here at the JW Solo USA. This is what I was been uh, working on and building. And this, guys, this is uh, 7 kilowatt hours of battery storage made by... Um, run by Nissan Leaf, uh, designed and built or engineered by Japanese in Japan. So you guys, what you see here, each battery here is a 500 watt. So 500 and 500. So you're thinking about uh, uh, 3.5 kilowatts on one side, on left-hand side, 3.5 kilowatts on the right-hand side. If you put them together, that's what I did. I seriesed them. I decided to use a tin copper plated on this side. If you see this one where it's cut right there, you see the copper on it. It's wired in series, wired in series. And these are used the gold so to differentiate the packs. So this is pack one, pack two. I don't want people to get confused. So I'm trying to do kind of a little bit mix match things here. So you guys can able to understand exactly what I'm doing here. These are the batteries I was testing first on the uh, system, um, the 12 volt system here, which uh, sitting there, okay, and uh, here, and these are the ones that came in uh, a couple days ago, and uh, put them together. I'll see how this system runs. I don't want to mix them up because they came. I got this one from a different company, and this one from a different company. OK, um, I was hoping that uh, I'm going to get them all together, but um, due to my mistake or whatever, with flexibility or things, I have um, good friends and vendors and whatever sellers that I deal with. And uh, they decided to um, <laughs> order the thing and happen to order from another the other guy which uh this uh dealer sent this one came from california and while this other one came from somewhere else um which is um really cool because i was just gonna get the packs on both side but guys this is the thing and i want to see after that running this system i want to check the voltages on this one and voltage on this one the performance so if, if there's any discrepancy, then I will know. I will uh, catch the thing right away. But uh, for those of you that are really curious about BMS's battery management systems, I'm not running a BMS system because of a lot of reasons. For now, I know a lot of you guys will say, why are you not running BMS or what BMS are you using and all that kind of good stuff. And thanks for your um, wishful thinking. For now, I'm not ready getting into BMSs because look at this setup. It's really clean. If I use a BMS here, it's going to be way tacky and messy and just unbelievable. I can able to incorporate a BMS here. Don't get me wrong. I'm not against BMSs, but these batteries can run without BMS. Okay? This battery can run without a BMS as long as the voltage that came with the batteries are all the same. There's not much uh, discrepancy into the voltages and you're going to be fine. And you have the right equipment to charge these batteries or to uh, utilize these batteries. You're going to be in good shape. So what I did, I all these ones are series to so a 48 volt. This is a, um, a 14S, 14S here. And um, what I did, I add the um, bus bars that uh, Nissan uh, had in on his batteries. And um, 
you can see the other one right here. So this side, I'm going to be um, um, incorporate the, uh, the, uh, the stuff for the charging. So I'm drawing from each end. Okay. So you can tell here's a negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative. So I end up on the other positive side here. So if you get positive here, so if you keep going, it's going to be a negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive. So you got to, negative, positive, you got to pull from um, uh, directional angle, from each angle, far corners. So that's what has to be. And you series. After being serious, then you parallel them by taking the negative uh, end from this and negative here and tied it and positive here to positive here. The reason why you have to do this, this one's already um, at uh, 66 amp hours. Each battery is a 500 watt, 66 amp hours. So they have 4.1. 4.1 you can charge them to 4.1 to 4.2 volt so if you multiply that it's going to be a 2.8 uh, uh, sorry 8.2 volt per battery okay it depends your uh, uh, specification or your parameters so this is supposed to give me about 57.4 57.5 volt nominal right now i can run it on my 48 volt outback system which can go up to about uh, 67, I suppose. If I get it wrong, I'll correct that on the video. But um, I can go well, um, up to that. This is easy. So that's the same thing I, do, I did here. 66 amp hours, 66 amp hours parallel together. That gives me 66 times 2. So this one will give me a 132 amp hours. Okay, 66 um, times 2, if I'm wrong, correct me. So, guys, this is the deal. And because of um, 132 amp hours, don't think it's a easy stuff when it comes to lithium. That's a lot of power compared to AGM, silicate acid, fluoride acid, you know, all the good stuff. See the brackets here trying to help. The, the 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 stuff not to expand from expansion and contraction so when you charge this panel it's just aluminum they expand so if you can watch online a lot of stuff there you can it can show you how these batteries can pop easily because of too much power you put in there and if they're not compressed with all these bolts because that's how they were in the car so you compress them, they stay intact. It has a different torque. How many torque you can give these batteries? The pressure, you don't have to tie it till you break them, you bust them. So go to your, uh, your manual or manufacturing specification and see what you can do. What I did here is for myself and uh, what you do is your own thing. So um, I had a two gauge wire here. If you can look at it, that does the parallel into the 132 amp hours together and uh, two gauge here that can take up to about uh, 300 amps. Okay, two gauge can go up to 300 amps. There is no way in the world maybe I can pull up to about 300 amps into this unless if it's on a 12 volt, I might. Who knows? So... This is on 48 volts. It's supposed to take uh, this wire is overkill for it for the 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 series connection or the parallel connection. The series are all in a bus bars, which um, really uh, design and that's how they, they they were for design for the car. But anyway, guys, um, this is just a quick a quick video for you guys. You will see the pack out. Oh, it's really you know fine and intact, just like you have a. A loaf of bread that slides, you know, you can see all that thing different. It, it's really cool. And I can able to mount this pack if I want to. And uh, on a wall or somewhere. And it's just a matter of getting the other flange on the other side. If I can, that's, if that's how you call it. And um, you see it's here on the other side. I can able to mount it in different direction. Or even a, a, a rod or maybe... A bolt that goes through all the way and tack it to uh, a wall or surface 
which is like a wood or a shit rock, something that can mount it a two by two or two by four, or whatever it is. And um, they can just hold intact. This one goes in the other way. It depends. Different thing. Maybe what I'm talking about, I can't understand it. But I know exactly if I want to do that, I will know what I'm going to do. The other second thing I want to talk about on this thing, I don't want this video to be long. You can see there's a 7.56 volt. That's what um, the Gen 1, um, the, the specification. So, guys... Um, you will see there's a time here. This was tested uh, 4 18 2019 at 8 58 to 54 seconds a.m. in the morning. So, guys, I want to do a 16S into this. I'll add two more batteries. That's why I have this rod kind of a little bit longer. One battery here. I just have to change this bottom um, thread rods to put a little bit longer so it can be the same. One pack can get back in here easily by adjusting from the back. And see, I have more clearance here. So doing so, I can able to add one battery here, one battery here, 16, because I have something I want to show you guys. That will be on the next video. You stay tuned for that because it's going to be a nice fabrication. It's going to be a good, good stuff. And you guys are going to be really amazed with and see what, I, what I've done or what, I've, um, what I decided to do. And I think you guys will like that. Well, I'll leave it for the next video. Stay tuned for this and um, be safe. Love you guys all. Live from Minnesota, JW Solo USA, and stay tuned. Like I said, there's a big package on the way. There's a surprise for you guys, and tell me what you think. We're going to be doing that unboxing. They just arrived today. Stay tuned this weekend, live from this channel. Love you guys all. Subscribe and share.